Hi, this is Arizona lawyer Julie LeBenz. Are you facing a divorce or custody trial? Are you prepared at all? Do you have any idea what the procedure is, how to prepare, and if you are on track to put on a winning case? Look, trials are really complex. I've spent years in school, I've gone to a trial college, and by no means is this video a full in and out, this is how you go to trial um, tutorial. Th that's not what this video is about, but this is a general overview of a few things that you can do to help yourself prepare for a trial. And number one is understanding trial procedure. Okay, what's the flow of the case, of the trial? Who goes first? What happens when a witness takes the stand? What's the procedure? Well, let's talk about that uh, real briefly. There is a general flow of events in every trial, okay? It starts with the opening statement. The opening statement is a brief overview of the case, and it's not intended for the parties to give any argument, but just to basically tell the judge what their case is about and what evidence they're going to present and what witnesses will testify. It's brief and once the both sides get through their opening statements, then the person who filed the initial petition, they get to go first, okay? And that person, the, the person who filed the petition, mom or dad, um, they'll get to put on a witness. Now, if mom or dad doesn't have an attorney and they're representing themselves, then they'll take the stand, they'll be put under oath, and nobody will be asking them questions, but they'll get to just talk and present their case. And this is where they can present exhibits and where they need to present all of the important elements to prove their case and to convince the judge to grant them the request that they're asking for. And what that means is that a parent that's getting ready to take the stand, if they don't have an attorney, then it would be a wise decision to prepare. Yep, to prepare um, what you're gonna say, to prepare what evidence you're gonna present, and you gotta make sure that that evidence has been disclosed in time. Again, this is pretty complex stuff, and this is just a general overview of legal information. Now, once the person who filed the petition, once that parent is through with their presentation of their case, then the other parent, it's their turn. And they can testify, and let me clarify the testimony procedure. When a witness testifies, the party that called that witness to the stand gets to ask that witness questions on direct examination, and those are generally broad, open-ended questions. And then the other side gets to ask questions on cross-examination, and those are usually leading questions and um, asking for a yes or no answer. Following cross-examination, the party that called that witness to the stand gets to do a redirect if there's any follow-up they wanna do about points that were raised during the cross-examination. Now, um, following the presentation of witnesses and evidence by the um, opposing party, the party that filed the case, they'll get one additional chance to present any rebuttal evidence or any rebuttal witnesses. And once both sides have rested their cases, then the case proceeds to closing arguments where each side gets to summarize the evidence they've presented and um, critique why the other side's case should not win and why the judge should grant the request that that party is asking for. Now, closing argument, it, you know, it takes a while. I mean, all of putting this whole trial together can be tough, but that is the general um, flow of a trial and putting together a trial outline, which is a, an insider tip here for everybody. A trial outline with questions and evidence prepared can be really helpful. Um, now, in addition to a trial outline, one final um, point to consider in preparing for trial is making sure that you have abided by the disclosure deadlines. And if a parent is using the standard court forms through the self-service center, well, 
they don't even include a standard disclosure statement. All right, now maybe the forms have been updated, but the last, you know, since the last time I've looked, I've never seen a disclosure statement form included, yet a disclosure statement is required under the rules. And disclosing information is key because if you don't share the evidence with the other side that you plan to present at trial, that evidence could be excluded and you may not be able to use it. Again, this is complex stuff. But that's why I'm here. I'm Arizona lawyer Julie LeBenz, and I'm seeking to help parents across Arizona to avoid or minimize legal problems and to simplify common legal processes like a divorce or custody case. I mean, guess what? In 2014, over 50,000 domestic relations cases were filed throughout the state of Arizona. And I'm hearing from judges that more and more parents are coming into their courtrooms representing themselves. They don't have an attorney with them to help. So I know that you're out there. I know that you parents need help with your case. I've seen it firsthand. And preparing for trial is something that most parents just don't do because they don't know how. They don't even know what the trial procedure is. So here you go. I just gave you some inside tips about the standard trial procedure. And this idea of a trial outline. Now, if you're interested in learning more information, feel free to visit julielebenz.com, learn more, sign up, and uh, send me a message. Indicate you're interested in getting access to a trial outline, and I'll see what I can put together for you. All right, I'm Arizona lawyer Julie LeBenz. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I wish you all the luck with your case and would like you to consider putting together a case strategy. All right, thanks.